Uh, ladies, maybe you've, you've seen this before. Time and time again, as soon as you start arguing with your partner, the guys start to retreat, withdraw. And the more we turn up the heat, the more the guys seem to back away. What is that about? Well, our next guest says that that is one of the things, the top things that can kill your relationship. She's the author of the new book, Till Death Do Us Part, unless I kill you first. <laughs> Great title. Yikes. Dr. Jamie Turndorf, who's known as a Dr. Love. She's a relationship expert and a radio host. Uh, Jamie, thanks for being here. Why do you guys react that way? Because we mean well. Oh, well, heated fighting triggers a biochemical imbalance in men's bodies that causes them to withdraw. And the technical name for this is the demand withdraw negative escalation cycle or husband withdrawal for short. <laughs> and no, I'm not talking about a natural form of birth control. <laughs> I'm thinking like men just call it nagging or nagging me. <laughs> how, how do we how do we deal with these type of situations then? I mean, let's let me because I'm sure guys say that, that it happens with them too. You said on your show that it's important for women that we need to Keep it, uh, keep it cool in an argument? Is that what you think we should do? How? Well, well let me just tell you, men's bodies are hardwired to be hyper-reactive to stress and danger. And this wiring dates oh. back to prehistoric times when men were hunters and they needed to react with lightning speed to flee or to fight dangerous prey. Well, mo modern danger is no longer the ferocious tiger, it's the pissed off wife or girlfriend. <laughs> When she comes at him, baring her teeth and berating him with criticism, his body sees danger and it involuntarily switches off into the fight-flight mode. And since he doesn't want to physically fight her, he flees instead. So we can't blame the guys for this. I mean, because it's by a lot. They're wired that way is what you're saying. So in the heat of an Absolutely. argument, how in the world do you keep your cool then, especially if you're right? Well, <laughs> one thing I also wanted to tell you, because women, it's really important for women to know that there are many ways that men withdraw, and if you understand the three main ways they withdraw, it helps you stay cool. Because besides physically fleeing, you know, where they leave the room, the house, they escape, you know, the, the space, they hide in the basement, they also verbally flee. Mm -hmm. Here, they're escaping responsibility with their words, justifying... The silent that, treatment, right? No, that's not... No, they're actually in your face saying no and ex oh. escaping responsibility, making excuses, justifying, defending. They're verbally escaping. And then they also... Also, what you said, the silent treatment is psychic fleeing. Here, they're physically present, but they're mentally gone. Deaf, dumb, and blind, drooling on their tie, no hablo inglés. They're mentally gone. But no matter which of the three ways a guy flees, a woman doesn't understand it's all primitive biological programming. She gets hurt. She thinks, oh, he doesn't even give a crap about me to stick around and respond. She turns up the heat, as you said, unwittingly setting off more biological fire alarms, more fleeing, and this is how all relationship conflict Divorce and domestic violence is born, but there is a way out. Yeah, and what's a woman to do? That's what I'm wondering now at this point. Um, there is a way out. So you know how I said that heated fighting is what triggers husband withdrawal mm -hmm. and more fighting, but cooling the climate down stops husband, husband withdrawal and fighting. And I have something I call marital climate control. And there are two things that I can tell you of my many marital climate control techniques. The first one is to identify and eliminate your fight traps. These are those faulty, dysfunctional fighting tactics everybody uses, like name-calling, character assassinations, put-downs, sarcasm. Yeah. They all heat the climate and cause more husband withdrawal. And I always say, whatever you say and do, boomerangs back on you. And while it may feel good in the moment to get your rocks off, mm -hmm. on the rocks is where your relationship is going to end up if you don't ditch the fight traps. Really okay, got to protect the, the guy's ego. And yeah, just ditch it because, you know, you may feel good, but you are going to create more heat, more withdrawal, and more fighting. And All there's right. another really, another way. You want me to tell you another way to cool the climate? What, would you like to hear another? I would love to, but we, we've got to leave it there right now. Dr. Jamie Turndorf, some great advice. I could talk to you all day. When it comes to a relationship, your brain can be your worst enemy, so much so that it can wreck your relationship. Our next guest talks about that. Dr. Jamie Turndorf is the author of Till Death Do Us Apart, Unless I Kill You First. <laughs> She's also the relationship expert and radio host as well. You may have heard of her, Dr. Love. Dr. Love, thanks for joining us. Okay, so how does that work exactly? Because you say that our brain kind of backfires on us. We're trying to make progress oh, here. Exactly. Our brains 
play the nastiest tricks on us, especially in our intimate relationships. And there's something I call the echo, the echo process where we actually hear our parents talking to us when we're speaking to our partners. <gasps> and when this happens, we negatively distort everything we see and hear. Here, go clean up your room. <laughs> so why does exactly. our brain do that stuff to us? We do, and it's totally unconscious. Like a husband and wife are sitting at the table, right? And it's Tuesday night, chicken night. And he says, oh no, it's not chicken night again. And she goes nuts. What, you don't like my chicken? Go stuff my chicken. And he says, what did I say? I was just thinking how fast time flies. So you have to train your brain to fight for you, not against you, if you want to get along and have a relationship that lasts. And I have actually five techniques, simple little tips to help you do that. Okay, so the first one is hold your horses. What do you mean? How do you know? Are you a horseback rider? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hold, hold your horses means when you start feeling like you're losing your you know what, just don't say or do anything. Go off, <laughs> splash water on your face, and then the second thing you do is take a step back in time. Here, I want you to compare your present day offense with something you suffered as a kid. Compare the two. Now, in the third step, what you want to do is take a hard look at reality. Ask yourself, is there any chance I'm distorting what I'm seeing and hearing now? Is it possible, even 1% chance, that I might be misreading, negatively distorting what my partner's saying? And then in step four, check out your suspicions uh -huh. don't jump to conclusions ask your husband are you saying you don't like my chicken recipe and he'll say <laughs> then he'll say no i love all your chicken parts your breast your thighs your neck. <laughs> right? and you have one more important <laughs> tip what's that and then step five, smooth any ruffled feathers, in this case, chicken feathers. <laughs> you, learn, you learn to train your brain. Put yourself in my love school and your love will rule. Train your brain and you will get along. I thought you were going to say sex match. or something like that. All right. <laughs> well, Dr. Jamie Turndorf, we thank you so much and really appreciate your time. That was fun. Really fun. Nice seeing you.